if you're a woman watching this video, I am very sure that they are those moments where you prepare to get down to business with your man and somehow his machine gun would just not wake up wake up now even after you trying to play with it after you trying to put it in your mouth after you trying to sit on it it will just not wake up <laughs> Now, that is called erectile dysfunction. And in case you are watching this video and you do not know what erectile dysfunction is, well, it is the inability of a man to get an erection and also hold it for a reasonable amount of time. Now, you could ask me and be like, Pam, is it normal to have a, an erectile dysfunction? And the answer is yes, it is very, very normal to have it. And most men actually go through this okay now as long as it does not repeatedly happen okay because if it does then you need to seek for medical help now today we are going to look at some of the symptoms of erectile dysfunction the reason why i am doing this is because oftentimes most men go through this but because they do not know what these signs and symptoms mean then they are not able to get help um very fast we all know that the earlier you get help for any problem the better things work for you so point number one when you have this reduced sexual desires now we all know that men naturally have desires for sex i mean that is why any kind of woman almost any not all but almost any kind of a woman can bring sexual desires to a man okay but cases whereby despite this man taking long without having sex and finally his woman coming um, coming around or despite this guy watching pornography he can just never get to get desires for sex then my brother you could be having a problem point number two like i said earlier when you have a problem getting an erection okay now when it reaches a point whereby despite your woman touching you despite your woman playing with you despite your woman you know putting it in her mouth trying to sit on it, even she undresses for you, you just do not get an erection, then that is a problem. Point number three, when you have a problem keeping an erection for a reasonable amount of time, so you may succeed to get an erection, but after that, can you hold it for a reasonable amount of time? Yeah. Now, we've, we've seen cases whereby a guy erects and just because, just before he gets inside her, the D just goes dingling. I mean, it just slips off. So that means that that could be a problem. And lastly, point number four, when a man has a problem satisfying his woman, okay, so fine, you get an erection. You even manage to play around inside her dress spot, but you do not get her to satisfaction that my brother, you could be having erectile dysfunction, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Um, look out for the next video because this is a broad topic. I love you guys. Erectile dysfunction most times affects men between the age of 35, 40 and above. Now the reason for this is because most of the causes are things that men did when they were of a younger age. Okay, So as a guy grows and he keeps on with these practices then it reaches a hype and definitely he has to suffer the consequences. Okay, So in today's video I am going to take you through some of the causes of erectile dysfunction. Okay, So in case you're a guy watching this video, you're a mother watching this video please share this video talk to your sons and somehow somewhere this video will help serve somebody okay so number one is uh diseases that we may not be able to control at a later stage things like blood pressure things like diabetes things like heart diseases okay but in case you worked on avoiding this at your younger age then it can save you a lot at your older age Point number two, excess use of tobacco. Now, most guys will start smoking at the age of 18, 20. So by the time they reach 40, 45, you can imagine of how much tobacco they would have taken in, okay? Now, the biggest danger with tobacco is that that tobacco thing has a way that it inhibits the flow of blood through your system, okay? So with time, it will cause you um, erectile dysfunction. So take note of that. Point number three, excessive use of alcohol and other substances like marijuana those weeds i mean you know the things i don't even know how they are called okay so having um taking alcohol is 
it's kind of okay. Um, okay, as long as you can manage the intake, then it may not be as dangerous as someone who just takes, forgets even the road to their home. Okay, so if you can take this uh, this alcohol in small quantities, it might be okay. But because still, it's not easy for you to control how much you're taking. Then the best solution would be you to quit taking alcohol. Point number four depression and stress okay now depression stress has a lot to contribute in um erectile dysfunction okay so what you need to do is find a way of managing your stress do not get so stressed do not get so depressed because once you do then you will even actually lose the urge for sexual intercourse and before you know it it will affect you in one way or the other and lastly point number five is when you have problems in your relationships okay so all you need to do is make sure that you find a way of minimizing issues in your problems and trust me you will kind of try to minimize the causes of you having erectile dysfunction at your later age well my name is Pam thank you for watching if this video has helped you in one way or the other other please give it a like leave a comment and don't remember to share it with somebody else i love you i love you i love you guys